What's up internet? You know that I'm a camera noob and that I shoot most of my videos using my cell phone because I'm cheap as AF. <laughs> But a while back, Canon decided to educate me and sent me their excellent M6 Mark II. And that is a beautiful camera. It produces such great images. To be honest, I didn't want to send it back. The M6 Mark II really made me think about spending big bucks to get a nice camera. This time around, Canon sent me their noob-friendly M50 Mark II which is specifically designed for vlogging and content creation at a reasonable price. First things first, Canon sent us this item for review but had no say in what we had to say about it. A lot of this camera is noob friendly. One, the stock of the camera felt sturdier so I was less anxious about dropping it. When I was holding the camera, I felt that I had a better grip on it than the previous camera that I tried. The interface also seems easier to understand from a beginner perspective. So both the physical physical feel and the digital feel of the M50 Mark II feels right for a beginner like myself. That said, it is possible that they feel more comfortable because me, the user, is getting more comfortable with cameras. Yung nakakatakot dati kasi bago, ngayon medyo sanay na ako. So maybe that's why I feel more comfortable around cameras in general. I, I do admit it's a subjective thing. But the M50 Mark II seemed easier to use than the previous Canon camera that I tried. Video and image quality was noticeably better than a cell phone, but not as creamy and luscious as the M6 Mark II, which again, that camera, man, it produced such great images and videos. But that would be an unfair complaint to make against the M50 Mark II because it does come at a cheaper price and is targeted more as an entry-level camera. You wouldn't buy a 3060 and expect to play games at the same settings as a 3090. You really get what you pay for, and the M50 Mark II's quality is not bad for its price. Considering the entry-level price of the M50 Mark II, what you get is pretty decent. Notice the excellent quality here. I recorded myself playing Back for Blood, and even though the setup is less than ideal, poor lighting, poor framing, again, I'm a noob, the M50 Mark II makes the picture look attractive. And <laughs> I've used this shot for B-roll several times in other videos because the action on screen Screen looks great and that's thanks to the quality of the camera. The colors and actions on screen really come out even under these less than ideal conditions and this was all autofocus from the camera. I didn't change around any settings because I have no idea to be honest what 75% of the settings on that camera are. Basically the M50 Mark II is idiot proof. Another easy to use feature of the camera is that it orients automatically to a vertical format. When you hold it like a cell phone and you shoot it like a cell phone, the video will already automatically orient to vertical mode. And that's important because with the rise of TikTok and everyone copying TikTok, a lot of content now is generated in the vertical format. It's kind of funny. Before, when you used to shoot in vertical format, people, professionals, would laugh at you and that was a true sign of a noob when you shot in vertical. Pero ngayon, uso na ulit yung vertical because that's a native format of a lot of the short form content now. And if you're a content creator, you will probably want to explore vertical orientation for your own videos. And yes, you can shoot with a normal camera and then edit it in post to make it a vertical format. But it's so much easier and faster if the camera natively orients automatically like the M50 Mark II does. Again, you're a beginner, you're a content creator. You don't want to have to mess around with the settings of your editing program. You just want to take your camera, orient it properly, and start shooting. And the EF M18 150mm lens was really something else. Like, I was really surprised with the level of detail that it could pick up. So you notice this kind of faraway shot of a clone troop carrier? And the zoomed out shot looks good. I mean, you know, it, it looks crisp. But when you zoom in, you can see the fine details of the toy, like the logo on the troop carrier. And I was amazed. I was just really playing around with the thing. And when, when I zoomed it in, I was like, wow. I mean, the, the, the level of detail that you can capture with the EF M18 150mm lens really took me by surprise. You'll notice here also that I tried to take some zoomed in shots of the moon. And as a beginner, I think they don't look too bad. But I'm sure that an advanced user that is used to changing the settings for light exposure, 
and focus and all of those things would be able to generate a much better picture using this camera and this lens. And that's really my experience with the M50 Mark II in a nutshell. It's a good camera, easy to use. You can get good image and video quality from this camera and it's very noob friendly. It's not the best quality that I've tried but again that's because I've been spoiled with the first camera that Canon sent over to me which is really quite pricier than the M50 Mark II. The M50 Mark II is a good base camera so as a beginner you don't need to think too much but it also has a lot of settings that you can explore later on to slowly level up your camera game. And now that we've been able to try a bunch of different cameras, we're really tempted now to get a dedicated camera for the channel. But in the meantime, thanks for sticking with us through our cell phone, vertical, horizontal, whatever, bad audio, bad video quality face. You know, we're not camera guys, we're PC guys, but we're slowly learning. Thanks for bearing with us. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tuko po ano to? Dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.